been 10 years of hard work and half a million dollars in donations, Pottawatomie County has a new Veterans Affairs office. Reporter Joe Kadat was there for an emotional unveiling. Joe? I talked to a World War II veteran and a Korean War veteran who both say they are overwhelmed by how much their community cares about them. This is a special day. Uh, it's good to know we aren't forgotten. 71 years and three months since U.S. Army combat veteran David Apple came back from fighting four years in the Pacific theater of World War II. He gets to stand in a building built for veterans like him, made possible by donations from his community. I appreciate you doing all this for us. Regardless of which way of war you're in, you know, one more is not any more important than another. It's something that had to be done. Like Apple, Korean Army combat veteran Herbert Rock says today was overwhelming. It hits me kind of deep because I felt it was my duty. And it, it uh, I am. I well up I quite a bit when they do that. The new Pottawatomie County Veteran Affairs Office is nearly four times larger than the old office, which operated out of an old church for more than 50 years. The new $2.2 million, 6,300 square foot facility will provide Pottawatomie County veterans with services ranging from employment to health care referrals to hundreds more veterans than they could previously serve. It's something those who serve their country appreciate. Makes you feel good. It, it really does. Iowa National Guard Commanding General Stephen Altman says Iowa is one of the most dedicated states to armed services. Altman says while Iowa makes up 1% of the U.S. population, 2% of U.S. armed forces are from Iowa. Reporting live, Joe Kadat, KMTV Action 3 News. In Washington, the 